Huh, what a mess. Hello again. This is becoming a regular thing. Um, so hopefully you saw the previous videos where I took the front and rear heaters out of the car. Uh, what I'm going to do today is start to dismantle the, the heater units. Uh, the rear one, I need to recondition the motor. Uh, I, I mean, it all needs reconditioning, but especially the motor. The front one, the motor, I is a separate unit. I reconditioned that a couple of years ago. So I'm just doing the actual heater unit itself with all, all of the control levers and valves and things. So um, what I thought was we'd take them apart on the bench. Um, I'm going to have to soak some of this in rust converter. Um, the motor's going to be a bit of a fiddle as well. I'll probably do that separately, uh, but I'll, I'll video it. Um, but yeah, so this is the rear heater that sits under the rear seat of the P5 uh, and P5B. Um, you saw this in the previous video. Uh, this is the, the lid. Uh, it's a bit bent, so it needs a bit of tidying up. Uh, obviously, it all needs stripping anyway and, and uh, dipping in rust converter. Um, it's a Smith's FHR2316. Hopefully, you can see that. Uh, model number nothing there's no model number on there and uh, 12 volts and Smith's made in the UK so um, that's gonna I'm gonna take that part I'll take the grill off it's just three bolts and uh, dip that in rust converter so I'll just put that to one side this is inside the heater this is the the core and the matrix um, of the heater. These are the two pipes, uh, the water in and out that run under the car. Um, it's, well, I mean, it looks abysmal, but actually, uh, I, I can't actually see that it's been leaking, um, but the fact that there's just, it's so just, you know, messed up, I'm gonna replace this. Um, I could just flush it out, but I'm going to replace it. Uh, so that's the the, the matrix. Um, it's got copper fins. Um, it's obviously quite a lot of water damage. I'm not sure where the water has has come in because, as, as I say, I can't see this leak. This has leaked, but it may well have in the past, and then who knows? That you know, that someone might have put a sealant in the the water or something like that because um, it's obviously sharing the same coolant as the engine block so that's the matrix I'm not going to do anything with that other than put it to one side and then arrange to get a, a refurbished one of those this is the um, the main tray of the heater so um, this is the fan and the motor is under there um, this is the resistor for the two-speed uh, fan, which I guess they just thought it was a good idea to put it in the airflow. Um, looking at this, like I said on one of the videos, it looks as though one of the lugs has actually just rusted away. Uh, and I don't know where this was mounted, I assume it was somewhere here, so that it was in front of the airflow uh, from the fan. So I'll... Uh, probably replace this I think uh, I think it's actually let's just check what the resistance is I think it's two point two point five or 2.2 um, let's just have a quick check of that ah that's not going to work. I left my multimeter on batteries flat. Okay, well, I'll figure that out. Um, so that's probably going to need replacing. Um, I think I'm just going to cut those wires. Yeah, I mean, they've got crimp bullets on still, but. Uh, 
I'm just gonna cut that off. It says this is 2.5 ohm, 10% ERGZO. But um, as you can see, the, there's a l mounting lug there. That one has gone. So I assume the rust got the better of that. Um, and obviously, it, it, it wasn't bolted down, so it's been banging around inside. You know, so the the ceramic coating has chipped off so it's all, all looking a bit sorry I may well replace that um, I may just try and keep these cables as long as I can so I can reuse them um, I know this is kind of a slightly pointless exercise in a way. This heater isn't necessary, especially as I don't drive the car in the winter, really. But as I say, you know, and I, and, and I know it's perfectly valid. Some people just disconnect them because um, they are kind of a weak spot. But um, I just it's the sort of thing I like fiddling around with. So um, so there's the, the wires and the bullet connectors. So that's brown, black and brown, yellow wires. Uh, let's chuck that foam away. Oh, interesting, there's mastic there. Hmm. Um, so there are these kind of baffles inside to direct the, the, the air flow uh, through the matrix and then out to the two hoses that go under the seat. So I'm going to need to get, well actually what I'm going to do is I'll bring you back, I'm just going to empty this rust out just to get rid of, stop it going everywhere on the bench. Uh, and then I'm going to start unbolting the motor, so I'll bring you back when I start to do that. Right, we have new battery. So let's just check this resistor. Can you see that? Uh, hopefully you can see that no reflections so I think this is 3.1 ohm 3 point well it's about just go this side 2.5 there you go 2.5 ohms so that does say 2.5 I think as well so uh, 2.5 ohms okay pretty uh, easy to replace with something a bit more or a bit less battered um, this is the cover so what I'll do I've just shaken out some of the rust just so it doesn't go all over the desk uh, I'm just gonna remove the grill may as well do it now Put this to one side and then need to get something big enough to soak this in for a few days. Okay, so three bolts. Yeah, nothing very exciting there. Okay, so there's nothing else. Uh, to I'll take this this the label off. I may I may get this remade. I, I they're available on the website actually. Um, I did them for the front heater and the heat the fan. Sorry for the the fan shroud and the fan motor at the front. I recreated these and had them printed. It looks very original. So I may do the same for this one. So they may be available. Not that probably many other people care about a label on something stuck under the rear seat that you're never going to see, but uh, it just seems a shame to lose detail like that as you restore a car. But anyway, that's that done. Uh, I think it's weird, I can't. I need to get 
bigger sockets. Or we could try with an adjustable. Interested to see how. Hmm. It's weird, can't I? Can't see. It doesn't look threaded. It's like a brass nut, but that's not threaded at all. So I'm not sure how that fan is held onto the the motor. Hmm. Anyway, it'll all come out in one unit, I think. So. Ugh. As you can see, this is pretty crusty. Um, I mean, this is this is outside. This this pokes through the floor pan. The floor pan is here, um, so the bulk of the motor pokes out through the, the floor pan. This has got multiple layers of under seal on, so I'm going to probably scrape what I can off outside. And then clean the rest up with uh, white spirit or something. But that does allow us to get the motor out. Okay, so I'm just going to have a bit of a tidy up and then we will have a look at the front heater unit. So on to the front heater. Um, this is the, the unit that sits at the back of the engine bay. Um, it actually sits, you're, you're looking at the, the bit that faces towards the front of the car. So this sits on a, a plinth down here. This is the one of the valve, the, well, the valve for uh, for the water inlet. Uh, this is the water inlet, I assume. This is the outlet. Uh, the um, the sticker on it. It's, again, it's a Smith's unit. I can't see. It's been chipped off. So there's code FH. I don't know, I think it's FHFS, but I don't know, and then something something 06 maybe. Um, model F, yeah, again, I can't really read it. So um, it's quite a big, chunky old thing, this. So if I barely fits on, so this is this, this faces the front of the car, this is the, the right side of it and the two control cables no one of the control cables comes in um to here i think yeah yeah the cables the outer's clamped under there and it comes into there so um you can see it's quite a it's quite the mechanism uh Not fully sure what all of these things do. There are flaps in. There's a flap inside at the bottom, which is the out to the the footwell. Uh, that's closed. The the bottom flap, and then there's a flap there opening. Um, but yeah, so not totally sure what that does, and then. I did think when I first looked at this, I was trying to f wonder what this did because this isn't doesn't seem to be connected unless it's connected inside. Um, but this kind of moves in mysterious ways as well, so uh, I'm not quite sure what that what that's doing. But I have to figure this out as we go. So I mean, I need to strip it all down because. I want to replace the, the matrix inside anyway. Um, I mean, it does work. It did. It, it worked in the car. It was a little bit stiff. Some of the some of the movements, but it 
just needs reconditioning. Um, so I'm going to, th this probably isn't going to be a quick thing to do, but anyway, so that's, that's the, the left hand side of the car, this, this side, the, uh, the other side is here. And this is where the other cable comes in. Um, looks like I've lost the, the nut that clamps the, the cable, which goes in there. Um, so this pulls on that. And then, as you can see, you know, <laughs> it's quite amazing how it works. Um, that's the that's the, this is the bottom flap down here out to the the footwell. Um, yeah, amazing that it works. So I assume, yeah. Well, actually, I can see. So that that's spinning as I'm moving this. So they're obviously either connections on the other side or connections internally. Anywho, uh, so the the case seems to be split front to back, two halves, from what I can see. Although, yeah, yeah. So it's the screws. I've I've removed some of them. There are screws here, so it's going to split that way. Um, just looking at the, there's not that much to see on the back, but I'll show you. So. From memory, that I think is the air inlet, fresh air inlet, and that goes out to the screen. And this seals the bulkhead is here, so this is this is sitting against the bulkhead, and this foam seal is obviously sealing against the bulkhead. Uh, so I think this goes out to the screen vents from memory. Then this is the, the fan inlet here from the Smith's fan that, that has a large pipe going into that. Uh, let me see much inside. Can't see a lot inside. No. Um, so the bottom, this plinth that it sits on um, looks to screw off. So what I'm going to do before I start shearing off screws, I'm going to give them all a bit of a soak in penetrating fluid, go and have a cup of tea and then come back and see if any of these can will come out. Um, obviously, you know, a heater has water in it. So there is well, not a massive, uh, there's a fair amount of corrosion um, and the screws may be rusted or are rusted. So uh, I'm going to do that. I'm going to, I won't film that because it's just squirting stuff out of a can, but I'm going to put penetrating fluid on all of these uh, and then go and have a cup of tea and we'll be back. So uh, I've just had a bit of a look on the web and I could only find one site that talked about removing a fan, the metal fan. A lot of these <coughs> Smith's motors have plastic fan. The front, uh, the front fan unit is plastic. This is metal, um, and as I say, I couldn't see. There's no thread on this rod, so I wasn't couldn't figure out what that was. But it seems it is just a nut. Yeah, so it's only partially threaded for some reason at the bottom. So very simple. Uh, that just comes off. And then this should, with a bit of persuasion, slide off as well. So I just thought I'd, although I'm not going to take the motor apart, I am kind of interested to, to see inside a little bit more. See what sort of condition it's in. Uh, hang on. Don't want to bend the the metal. Um, um, um. 
can't tap the end because that oh, okay so it's, it's kind of like a split collar weird this evenly So, yeah, the fan's in pretty good, or well, very good condition. Um, barely any rust on it. But it's got this, like, split thread um, that the nut kind of, almost like a drill collet, I think the nut, yeah, that's tapered inside. So it pushes, it closes that up on the shaft, so just a friction fit on a on a round shaft all right it's useful to know so there's the motor um pretty standard smith's motor i think there's no sideways play there's a little bit of end float but that's nothing excessive uh so it's just a standard motor in this outer, riveted to this outer housing. Is it riveted? Yeah, no rivets. So um, I'll just drill the rivets out when I do this. I'm not going to do this now. I'm going to get back to the front heater and uh, just drill the rivets out. And then these two bolts go through all the way through uh, to hold it together. So I think it's it's basically the same as the, the front fan motor and I think it's pretty standard Smith's unit. So uh okay, I just um while I was having a cup of tea I did a bit of googling and found out that that should just un, un uh, unscrew. So it's not actually screwing onto this shaft. This shaft doesn't have any thread, it's screwing onto a split thread on the fan that um yeah, it gets compressed to gr just grip this with friction. Right, useful to know. So back to front unit. Um, see, okay, yeah, you can see that. So I've, I've put some releasing fluid on these screws so hopefully oh, that's easier than I expected okay that comes off Again, foam seal. Uh, yeah. Okay, let me put that down there. So this is the actual to close off the foot well. I assume when you when you put uh, demist or defrost on, this closes. <coughs> and there's the matrix inside which doesn't look 
as terrible as the the rear one but anyway let's take these screws out I mean Smith's as I was looking on the internet you know Smith's um, heaters and fans were used pretty much in most British cars I mean uh, you know, Lotus used them uh, MG uh, most most British kind of BMC and and uh, I don't know about Triumph I imagine they did um, even what was the car I think it was a I uh, can't remember the car they mentioned but quite an exotic <laughs> British car as well um, used the same actually used the same heater as a as an MGB so you know these are pretty common uh, although this this one is big I mean this is bigger than a, a mini unit looks from what I could see somewhat similar um, but obviously this is a lot bigger than you would have in a mini so I've put releasing fluid on all of these and they all seem to be coming out very oh, he said very easily quite easily What I want to do is split the two halves of this so that I can s see inside more. It's interesting. Okay, so that's yeah. The 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 hose from the fan comes in at a slight angle, so uh, it's just got baffles built into it. To I guess divert some of the air, so it's not shooting, just shooting in, going straight to the back of the the unit, uh, something like that. Anyway, um, hmm, hmm, it's a bit of a. Maybe I need to remove this valve. Well, I don't know whether I need to, but I'm going to because that's the next easiest thing. I can just keep chipping away at things that look. Oops, sorry. Things that look movable. Uh, This has this valve. I would think. Let's take these out. The um, the parts manual for these cars is is useful. It shows exploded views of a lot of these parts, but the the actual manual itself doesn't really go into. I don't. Th well, actually, I'll check, but I don't think the manual goes into any detail on how to. No, I I did look actually uh, on how to strip this down. So. We are a bit mm. okay, I think what 
I'm going to do, that's moving, it's, it's rotating, I assume it's, uh, it's fitted over the, the, in, the inlet pipe of the matrix. Um, so what I'm going to do, I'm just going to take a photo of that, and then I'm going to take off some of the rods. It's quite quite the construction. Certainly uh certainly labour intensive to manufacture. Okay, that's loose. Okay, so this valve should, I assume, pull off. There's Things moving. See that? Let's try and split that. It looks like this sh should pull off, but I don't know for sure. I don't want to break something. Aha! Aha! So, yeah, it was just sitting on the the inlet of the core, I don't know how that's sealed. There's something a bit rubbery in there. Is there like a, like a rubber seal? So gummed up, it's difficult to tell what's like a rub. Yeah, I think I think there was. It's gone very hard, though. Some sort of seal. <sighs> Which isn't going to be. What's that? PTFE tape. Looks like it, doesn't it? Well, I can't imagine that's factory from the 60s. I don't know whether PTFE was even invented in the 60s. Or discovered. Uh, well, anyway, so there's some sort of seal in there for it to, um, <coughs> unsurprisingly, to seal on the, the inlet of the 
the matrix. So uh, this one, the hose goes directly on, so it's um, flared or uh, it's a bubble flare, it's called or something like that. Um, whereas this one is just no no flare or anything. So um, it needs something to seal that on. So yeah, okay. Um, so I think that's just the water valve for the for the amount of uh, hot water from the engine going into the flowing through the matrix to control the temperature. Yeah, the matrix is loose. So that's that. I'm running out of things to remove here. At some point, it's going to have to come apart. Is it just? Uh, Kind of there might be some sort of seal in there to, to seal it and it's holding it together. Oh it's this rod as well, I'll just take a photo of that for a record when I come to put this together so got to get inside this today if only to see what it's like inside okay that's Hmm, okay. I might just Yeah, you can hear you can hear something kind of creaking and g giving up its grip. Uh rather than use a screwdriver. Okay. Yeah, definitely some sort of sealant or foam or something holding this this together. Hopefully, if I can break enough of that. Allow us to pull it apart. Aha. Uh -huh. So we're in. So it looks like somebody's been in this at some point because that looks like silicon sealant, which can't have been factory. Um, well, that's not terrible. Uh, some of these, well, it, I mean, it all needs repainting. Um, but it's not. Okay, so so as if I move this, that's opening. must be coming up to here for the screen so that's opening the screen and closing oh, now we're confused because both of those seem to come out there
Look, as one closes, the other one opens. But they both go, this is separate piece that's coming out here. What? Yeah. Weird. <laughs> Maybe one is the demist and one's defrost, but you would think they'd just. I assumed anyway, it was just opening this one vent more or less, depending on which you selected, not closing one, closing a smaller vent and opening a bigger one. Although actually there, ah. Oh, okay. So this one is is cool air because the fan's coming in there. So that's not been heated. That's not gone through the the matrix. Whereas that one has. So that must be defrost, and that's just demist, which is just cool air going to the screen. Maybe. Uh, okay. So then this is. Wow, that's so that's sprung there with a kind of hair spring, hair pin spring or whatever you'd call it. Um, so I assume this was a. Okay, well that's in a better condition than I expected. Uh, it's got some markings on that don't mean a lot to me. No other markings, but I mean that's not in bad condition. Um, there's some surface rust. There's Hmm. Can't see a lot of evidence of water loss there. I don't know whether barely look, doesn't really look worth replacing that. Uh, okay, so there you go. So that's the the front and rear heater that we've taken apart, made a big mess on the desk, uh, or the workbench. Um, need to tidy up a bit and then figure out uh, dipping these in rust remover, refinishing them, rebuilding them. I'll video the rebuilding, I won't video removing rust, that's not going to be the most exciting video. Um, so until the next time, bye.